I'm gonna show you the very basics of uploading an avatar to VRChat using Unity and an avatar that I downloaded. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to Creator Companion, a much easier way to manage your avatar projects for VRChat. First, you will need the new user status in order to upload any avatars or worlds to VRChat. This takes about a week. For step number one, you will download the Creator Companion, which is gonna be at the VRChat website. If you select the download section, it will be right here and you can click download the Creator Companion. The great thing about the Creator Companion is it's a great resource to be able to keep things up to date without having to download a new SDK every time VRChat releases something new. This is a great place to manage and organize your multiple world projects or avatar projects. So once you get in here, we'll create a new project and we will call this Daizu-chan test three. We'll select avatar project and next we'll create the project. Now, as you can see, it shows which version is installed and this is also where you'd be looking to update the version number as new releases come out. They also have several other packages you can dive into on your own time, but this should be a good start for avatars. Next, we will open the project. As long as you have Unity Hub downloaded, it will make sure the version for Unity needed for avatar creation is downloaded to your PC. So if you haven't already downloaded Unity, you can also head over to the Unity website to download Unity Hub. For step number three, you'll purchase an avatar from a place like a virtual market. I recently learned about some of the boundaries around avatar creation and what is right versus what is wrong. There are a lot of views on how avatars should or should not be acquired. After learning more about this and talking with creators, one of the best ways you can be supportive to the avatar creation community is by purchasing original characters and models from creators off of a place like Virtual Market. Their goal is to create an online space where avatar creators can sell their creations, assets, props, and so much more. Support creators in VRChat by browsing the avatars on Virtual Market and make sure to check out their terms of use so you can understand where the model can and cannot be used. For this video, I'm going to be using Daizu Chan, which you can check out the link to below. Models can also be made from scratch in any 3D program of your choice. There's also great software like VRoid Studio or standalone avatar apps where you can make characters that give you a great base mesh to work off of if you're not completely comfortable starting from scratch. Once you have Unity up and running, you're going to log in with your VRChat username and password. You may have to check a code for your email, so make sure to do that. Now that I'm logged in, I can go ahead and drop the Unity package from the model I purchased into the assets section. We click back in, there'll be a big list of the assets and then we'll click import and let it load. Now a side thing to keep in mind for Daizu Chan is sometimes in the description you'll find a shader that's recommended. Shaders are how the avatar is lit by lighting and how it affects their textures. They recommend shader Lil Tune, which we will look up so that we can download it. Here is the shader, we'll go ahead and download this. We'll do the same thing for the shader where once we have it downloaded and exported, we'll drop the package into Unity and import it. Next, we can click on the Daizu folder and open the Daizu scene. Everything looks good to go. We'll just check a few more pieces on her to make sure she is ready. We'll click on Daizu chain in the hierarchy over here and just double check to make sure all of the vowels for the face lip sync are in place, which they are. They just need to match with the last three letters. And next, making sure that the viewpoint is in the middle of the forehead so that that's where we will see. And you could change that in the view position here if it happened to not be right. There are lots of different problems you can run into when uploading. But if you're purchasing a Unity package, most of the time, as long as you read the description and do everything that it is mentioning, you're not gonna run into too many problems. You'll just wanna bring in the package directly. Next, we can go back to VRChat SDK, click over to Builder, and next we'll click Build and Test and let that load. And it will say build succeeded at the end. Next, we'll launch VRChat to see how our model looks. Once you get into VRChat, go to avatars, select other, and then select the model that you uploaded and click change into this avatar. If you're interested in seeing your avatar, you can go to the options on your right controller and open up a personal mirror so that you can see your model. Yay, we did it. We uploaded our first avatar. Now you have all the basic tools that you need to upload an avatar to VRChat. If you're interested in VR tutorials and updates, on HTC Vive's products, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Until we meet again in yet another reality. I'll see you next time. Bye!